that's the thing. All of the American people have a grave and deep interest in what's taking place here and should not be excluded. I think closed chamber proceedings are contrary to our tradition in this country. I will submit evidence to the commission today, evidence which I've thus far been able to gather. And I am convinced that were this case tried today before a fair jury, the evidence which I have secured would force any such jury to acquit Lee Harvey Oswald, both of the charge of the assassination of President Kennedy and the murder of Officer Tippett. What do you feel is... Mr. Lane, in your investigation so far, what do you feel is the strongest evidence that Lee Oswald did not kill the president? Well, the shots were fired from an area different from the area that Oswald was present at, allegedly. Oswald was supposed to be in the book depository building on the sixth floor. That building was to the rear of the presidential limousine. The eyewitnesses state that the shots were fired from the grassy knoll or overpass directly in front of the limousine. The medical testimony corroborates this, indicating that the first bullet entered the president's throat from the front. Oswald was at that time 75 yards behind the president. How do you feel about the results of this afternoon's meeting, especially your request that you be allowed to represent Lee Oswald at the hearing? Well, you heard the Chief Justice say that that was a matter which we could not discuss. I made my request and he gave his ruling. I could not discuss him there. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed that the uh, commission takes that position that they are going to choose counsel for the defendant here. Uh, generally, of course, it's defense counsel who participates in choosing the jury. Uh, here we have the jury deciding who the lawyer is going to be for the defendant, which somewhat reverses the procedure and I think may end up with uh, a, a result which is not in the tradition of our development of due process and, and trials in our nation. Do you expect to be back again? Well, the commission has asked me to return if uh, my investigation reveals any further information. And there are many, many leads, as I explained to the uh, commission, which I have not yet been able to check out because of the severe limitations in personnel and funds, which are hampering my investigation. But uh, there are hundreds of leads yet to be checked out, and very likely some of them will turn up some new information, if they do. I'll be back. Mr. Lane, the firing tests on the Italian carbine indicate that this was the gun which killed the president. Do you have any other information which indicates there might have been another Italian carbine in the area, or that you, do you have any information that anyone else might have fired another gun? Well, uh, I don't know uh, if the tests really show that because this whole matter has been shrouded in secrecy, and there are leaks coming from here and from there. But uh, in any trial, one is permitted to examine the rifle permitted to examine the bullet fragments or bullets, and one is permitted to participate in, in passing upon ballistics tests. And it's very difficult under these circumstances where everything has been taken away from the public domain, with the exception of today's uh, testimony, to, uh, to, to comment upon ballistic tests which have been leaked but which we can't examine. Uh, if, the, if that rifle was used, uh, to shoot the president and wound Governor Connolly, then it could not have been in the book depository building where they allege they found it because the shots came from the front, not from the rear. You have suggested that the FBI and the Secret Service have asked witnesses who may know anything about the assassination not to talk to anyone. Would this indicate to you that there may not com be complete fairness in the review of the assassination being conducted by the Warren Commission? Well, uh, I've not just suggested, I've stated as a fact that the FBI and the Secret Service have told witnesses not to discuss this case with anyone. Uh, and, uh, two witnesses have told me that, and a reporter in Dallas indicates to me that dozens of witnesses have told him that they've been ordered by the FBI not to discuss this case. Now, that's not, that's not fair and it's not right. Uh, the American people have a great stake in determining what took place on November 22nd, 
And in our society, we don't rely upon the secret police to make determinations and give us the results. We rely upon uh, the media to give us the facts and the people to make their own determination. Why do you think they have asked the witnesses not to talk? I don't know. I, I try to stay out of the area of speculating upon other people's motivation, but it is harmful to the fair assessment of the facts in this case for them to do that, whatever their motivation. Are you satisfied with the cooperation you have received thus far from the Warren Commission? Uh, no. I've, I've been retained by the mother of uh, Lee Harvey Oswald to represent his uh, interests before the commission, and the commission at first stated that no lawyer could take that position, and then they appointed another lawyer, uh, the head of the American Bar Association, who has been uh, confirmed by the Senate as a federal judge, uh, and has not yet been sworn in, as I understand, uh, to function as counsel. And uh, I think that's not the proper way to do things. I've never heard of a case ever before where there was counsel already retained, where any court or anybody appointed other counsel. It's, it's unheard of in our uh, legal jurisprudence. And I'm not satisfied with this. Uh, in terms of my treatment today, the, uh, the, the Chief Justice, as always, was very polite and very courteous. And all of the members and counsel were also very polite and very courteous and gave me every opportunity today to say what it is I felt uh, should be done and what information I had gathered. There was absolutely no effort to in any way prevent me from saying anything, and I'm grateful for that opportunity. But I want to examine the documents. I want to examine the rifle. I want to cross-examine the witness. I want all of the rights that an American lawyer has when a case is tried in this country. Then, in fact, would you say that the Warren Commission is trying Lee Oswald, although they maintain that this is not a trial but just an investigation? Oh, of course they're trying Lee Oswald because uh, very likely they will conclude uh, as to whether or not he was the assassin. And if they reach a conclusion that he was or that he was not, uh, one may get involved in semantics to say that a trial did not take place, but that's even worse if a trial didn't take place and if you end up with a conclusion which should come only from a trial. Uh, so if there is no trial taking place, there should be one before they reach that conclusion, certainly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hold it for one time, Chad. Do you want to give me another question? No, no. Uh, can you hold it for one silence, Chad? Can you get in there for a minute? <clears throat> Just once looking at each other. <clears throat> Just the way you are, buddy. Give me a cigar. I'm not a hospital derelict. Just because I was sick, went down. Okay. Get that Just stand right there if you don't mind. Oh, California, that's paid for by the organization oh, for which I speak. Otherwise, uh, Texas, uh, uh, just a few. Uh, I to get the report of <coughs> Don't lose the letter. What's that? All right. Okay. Could you just tell us that again, Mr. Lane, what, uh, what you hope to do today? Well, I'm going to begin by asking the commission to open these <laughs> hearings to the public and to the press. I think the, well, I'd rather, uh, testify before the commission, I hope publicly. In any event, as soon as I conclude testifying there today, I will make a full statement as to what I've said there. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. <coughs> what time do you expect that to be over? I have no do you have any idea? idea? No, I don't know. How long do you think it'll take you? Uh... you I don't know. What, I, I didn't volunteer to come here. They called me. Did you plan to uh, submit this uh, material then voluntarily if you had nothing called? Yes, I was going to write to them. Well, Mr. Lane, is this basically the same material you discussed when you were here when you uh, were here before when you flew in from Los Angeles? So there's been a considerable amount of new evidence secured since then. <coughs> Can't you give us any hint of what the uh, nature of the evidence is? Well, I'd rather uh, make that statement before the commission. I will make the full statement upon my meeting. Later this afternoon. So, as soon as I leave, yes. Right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Where is it? The fourth floor? Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor.